Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Andrew Laidley. International travel and tourism firm TUI has cancelled planned trips to Jamaica and a number of countries amid ongoing concerns about COVID-19. The cancellations will continue to June 13. While Holiday Inn has resumed following the lifting of lockdown restrictions in the UK, TUI has updated its policies to cancel a number of trips to more high-risk areas. A statement on the travel operator's website said, all customers affected by the cancellations will be contacted directly and will be able to request a full cash refund or change to a later date. In addition to Jamaica, some of the other affected destinations include Aruba, Croatia, Greece and Spain. In currency trading, the U.S. dollar is selling for $149.39. The Canadian dollar sold for $125.17. The pound is going for $212.19, while the euro closed at $183.47. NCB Global Holdings is defending the offer price of stocks being offered in its subsidiary Guardian Holdings. This following concerns about affordability from investors. The company addressed the issues at its recently held investors briefing. NCB Global Holdings is offering up to 2 million ordinary shares in Guardian Holdings. Each share is being sold at $795. But some investors are arguing that the offer price is too high, especially since the shares are going for about $20 less in regular trading. Manager of Origination and Structuring at NCB Capital Markets, Timar Jackson, is defending the price. If you sort of check the records for all the APOs that would have happened over the last year or so, um, this would have been a very common occurrence wherein the, 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 the offer is out there publicly. However, uh, there are persons in the market who are trying to sell shares at a price which is, you know, slightly lower than, than what is on offer. He's urging investors to shift their focus to the value of the shares instead of its price. Because when you're thinking about affordability and stocks, um, you really don't want to pay attention to the number of units that you're getting. The number of units is really the number of slices of the pizza that are there. But essentially, if the pizza is big, you're going to be getting a big pizza, right? I can choose to split my pizza into five slices, but it doesn't change the size of the pizza. And that's the case with Guardian. He argued that the history of growth is enough to highlight the potential of the company. So in terms of affordability, I would say there is definitely not an issue. In terms of accessible accessibility, we've made sure that the shares are accessible by lowering the minimum number of units that persons need to subscribe for, which is 10. So with a, a, as, as low as $8,000, you're able to, to actually get in um, on the offer. The offer opened yesterday and will close on June 11, subject to the sale of a minimum 1.5 million units. Continuing now with more news on the stock market, the JC index lost 1,739 points today and the junior market index is down two points. Among the winners were Medical Disposables and Supplies, Margaritaville Turks, Jetcon Corporation, Mayberry Jamaican Equities and JMMB Group 7.5%. Now on the losing side were Productive Business Solutions, T-Tech, Knoxford Express, Sterling Investments, U.S. dollar shares, and Trans-Jamaican Highway, U.S. dollar shares. And that's the Business Day. I'm Andrew Laidley. Good evening.